a brand new day And we'll be making history Are you with me? Won't you stay? We have come so far This is who we are And like the rising sun We have just begun to play our part This is the time we form the chorus Lift your voice for those before us We can rely on one another Feel the pride, let's show Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. This is Gail Vagaya, and this is Free Range, where we graze on wild ideas, and we have wonderful guests. And today, my wonderful guest is Rick Jewers, and we're going to talk about Ascension and updates with GPMS. So let me bring Rick on. Hi, Rick. Hey, Gail. Thank you for Hi. having me back again, and I always enjoy... Uh, our interviews we do, I, I love how they flow so divinely. So thank you. Oh, you're more than welcome. Um, I, I see that you had some um, things that you post on Facebook about, um, um, well, not only the GPMS world, but also mastering fear. And I thought, I, I just saw that. And then you had something about the Jezebel spirit. And I don't know if everybody knows about those things. So why don't we, we can talk about that for a little bit if you'd like. Oh, okay, great. Let's, let's dive right into it. And uh, before I get, let's say I'll just touch on the Jezebel spirit. What happened with her, if you will, in scripture is she was thrown out the window and the horses trampled her. So it's so fitting, it is so fitting with your horses that you have in your introduction coming on here. But the Jezebel is a very evil feminine spirit, if you will. Wuss, mm -hmm. I'd like to use that in past tense. But also, when we look at Isabel, if you look at uh, the scripture and in the Bible, it dealt with Israel and also worshiping the god of Baal, which is uh, demonic, and, and what she had did and what she stood for. So if we look at the Bible metaphorically, if you will, uh, she represents a bad trait uh, of the feminine, but also her counterpart, King Ahab, as well. Uh, he was with uh, demonstrated the masculine part of it. But what I need to say, Ahab, if you will, was more associated with uh, what you would uh, call Beelzebub, which was one of the high demons, and oh, wow. uh, Bezelbub. But nevertheless, with this, you know, um, Bezelbub, if you will, in the Bible was metaphorically taken out. But in this great time, you know, when one say there's biblical connotations to this time, absolutely correct, because what you have in this time is the Christ, the Christ consciousness coming in with the new age. So mm -hmm. in the past, if you will, it's all connected. It's been all written about for this time. Now, typically, when you look at uh, the Jezebel spirit, it is feminine now. Um, and and having said that, uh, she don't is, women she, always take the rap? <laughs> she <laughs> was. No, no. This is <laughs> you know this is with uh, the feminine. Let's say that uh, <laughs> that can be influenced by Jezebel because let's say they're very. I would not even say these ones that are influenced by Jezebel are are feminine. Uh, meaning that they are not feminine souls, if you will. They are actually feminine minions. So there's a, a oh, difference, okay. difference between this. Yeah. But also, you know, what we teach and speak about, what is so important is that souls can be influenced by the Jezebel. Uh, for example, if they, they drink, if they take a lot of drugs, and if they're just a... 
a vile feminine that's full of fear and and uh, not consciously aware and not in their heart yet, they can also be influenced by what was called the Jezebel spirit. Now, we also have that arising, uh, you know, because of what was occurring in Israel as well. So she has uh, at least made an untimely appearance onto the timelines now where she would influence those that are the most susceptible to her. And those that would be the most susceptible to her would be those that are success-oriented in the old matrix, uh, ones that uh, consume alcohol, if you will, because we all know that alcohol, what it does, it transitions the consciousness and allows for uh, other influences to take over the consciousness when one is, uh, let's say, drinking or even inebriated. So, what we intoxicated. Uh, so, you know, having said this, um, this this Jezebel spirit also it will control and influence feminine if they have a lot of fear in them. For the most part, the masculine is was influenced uh, by the remnants of, let's say, the Ahab in the past. But we don't, I don't want to go too much into that now. I wish to keep this simple. So to keep this simple, it's very obvious for one awake to pinpoint who uh, might have been infected, influenced by a Jezebel spirit by their actions of um, uh being a temptress, uh, abusing uh, love, like in the lust, in the lust with the sexual, um, mm -hmm. and projecting and putting that outward. Uh, the greed is connected with that, uh, and uh, yeah, so it's all it's all the things you don't like. But what occurs if ones are susceptible, they can be influenced by it. Now, uh, does it mean it doesn't have to be uh, another woman? It could be a man or a woman that would be influenced yeah. by it. Is that correct? Yeah, it's more more so the feminine are able to be influenced to play the Jezebel role, where a masculine will be influenced to take to go with the Jezebel influence of what she projects. So she is also connected to Babylon as well. And Babylon, mm -hmm. if you will, is the old system, mm -hmm. uh, the current matrix you're in. That is Babylon uh, with the capitalistic system that is imploding at this time. Mm -hmm. So the last remaining part of it is the Jezebel spirit that is trying to keep the great city alive. And the great city is the capitalistic structure and commerce upon the planet. But at the same time, GPMS.world is the new world for all of humanity of abundance, harmony, love, and peace. So right at this time, the remnants of the Jezebel spirit is very threatened. And this is also why Israel, uh, that will come up at this time as well. Because also biblically, if you will, this has to play out um, the full disempowerment of the Jezebel. So right at this stage, Jezebel is on her way out the window to be trampled by the horses, metaphorically. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. and, and this wow. is what's occurring now. It, for where I'm at, she's already gone, but where I'm a ascension teacher i need to i reside on a higher timeline but i'm also connected to the lower timeline because it's here where i assist once to bring them to that higher level to whatever it involves so i need to see at any given time what energetic themes are alive and what are the most prominent in the now moment because I, one thing I also do is come in and apply the remedy and the solution because I'm also a, uh, a powerful co-creator to that effect. 
and also I am an overseer of the ascension. So I need to know the energetic themes that are playing out at any time, mostly the negative themes that cannot go forward because they have to be resolved here. You cannot go in a world where they don't exist and take them with you. And also ones cannot go in this world if they still have that with them. So it needs to be cleared here. And rightfully and divinely so, everyone is subjugated to these experiences to master the fear that is involved with it so that they advance out of the fear or actions and reactions and go into a fifth dimensional state of being which is void of all of these fear-based actions so the other day very simply what i put out for to suggest ones uh, that have not already done it because again i cater to all levels of consciousness and and the soul's development there is an ascension ongoing but we have so many subsequent waves and with each wave, there is a certain level of consciousness and inner spiritual development that is done with each wave. And ideally, what we do is we bring everyone up the same because then we are all the teachers and there's no one left to teach. So it takes us all and then we are in this higher world. But there is that journey. Uh, between now and getting there and this is where where I assist so when we look at the fear when we look at fear it's comprised of many actions and reactions that are fear based so the other day what I suggest for ones to begin working on the fear because the fear is a negative energy that diminishes their energetic power and their ability to add favorably to the new world. So they need to do this inner work themselves to rectify their energetic field so that they are not generating out fear into their reality and into everyone else's reality. Because we're creating a reality where fear does not exist. So everyone needs to be purified here. And, you know, to, to master fear, it's so important in this ascension. Because when you master fear, you come more into your divine power, into your divine knowing, your gifts. You begin to connect more to prime creator. You know more of your divine identity because you bring it down and then you are acting as a moral divine being rather than a robot in the matrix. So there is a huge difference <laughs> there. And uh, so having said this, what I suggested for ones to begin with your, your, your little fears, what I call the trivial fears, but in reality, no fear is trivial because it has a direct impact upon you if you still have it within because you cannot achieve that higher levels of consciousness and interactions with the angelic realms that each one has without going through this mastery of fear and you cannot be put in the heaven on earth scenario if you have not done a certain degree of that fear we can you just Physics also will not allow it to occur, to keep it simple. So what I suggested the other day is impatience is a fear. Patience is a virtue. So begin on impatience. So, uh, for example, you know, that's one of the easiest fears to begin to master. And mm -hmm. if you're in a grocery if you're in a grocery store and there's a long lineup, you know, you don't need to get anywhere. You need to recognize that you're always where you're at in time. But what it's about, if there's a long lineup, you look at it as a test on your patience. So you become <laughs> anxious of, okay, there's a, 
there's a line up here, but you know, I'm doing my tests on my fear so I can master these, so I won't have impatience. And then what you will do is by not being impatient, don't look at the clock, don't look at your watch, time doesn't matter, then you'll begin to interact perhaps and, and start up a conversation with someone else in the lineup or you'll just be an observer because you, you are employing patience and that's very important. And then what you will see, for example, uh, as a, just a hypothetical situation, perhaps another cashier will open up and she'll point right at you to come over because you don't <laughs> have impatience and you see how magical it is and how it works, but you will be tested with it. So it's good to begin to experiment and play on these little fears and go online, check it yourself, see what all is fear, worry, impatience, aggression is fear. These things do not belong in this world where we're going. So you have to master them here. And the beauty of it is for, let's say you begin to do your mastery of fear with impatience. Once you have mastered that during the course of mastering that, you're going to receive many confirmations. Like I said, you know, another cashier would open. This is a confirmation of how powerful and valuable it is for you um, to be virtuous and embody the virtuous acts, get rid of the fear acts like impatience, they no longer serve. But also with every fear that you master, it is replaced by trust and confidence in yourself, which begins to build your power. When your power, your energetic field becomes more purified and stronger because you are embodying all of the opposite of the fear spectrum, you're embodying all of the virtue, then what occurs, your other telepathic gifts begin to come online, your incredible healing abilities, and also your connections to, let's say, other soul existences that you might have had uh, to the galactics, to um, uh, the divine realm, whatever it may be, straight to uh, father, mother, source. So it's by doing this because you're instilling yourself, making yourself more Christ-like, more compatible with God. So with that, everything that God can do then you can do a lot of it as well. You can uh, create miracles and what have you. But you need to clean up the mess that the Matrix made in you, making you act out of All the breath. programs. Yeah, yeah, all of this, yeah. So I, I think yeah. I kept that pretty simple. Yeah, that was really good because uh, working on those fears is, is a real trip. It's kind of like your shadow work too, really. I mean, recognizing the programs that are holding you back. And, and, and some of the things that, like, for example, there would be some people that would, might think that, well, I never thought of impatience as a fear, but yet it is. You're, you're afraid you're not going to get somewhere in, an, in a time or something like that. Um, but what about people that are in situations where, um, one person is in fear and the other person's not in fear, but the other person is expressing, uh, undesirable characteristics. Well, um, <laughs> uh, um, what, what, uh, what are people supposed to do in those situations? Well, the answer to that depends on the individual that's experienced in it. If you're an advanced uh, at least awakened one and know what is occurring upon the planet where everyone is being tested with their fears, then you are able to know what they are actually putting out. It's, if you've done most of your inner work here, then there is no longer the mirror effect to observe. Once you have risen to your level of mastering the fear, there is no longer a mirror for you because you have done everything inside 
And if something negative or fearful from another is uh, comes uh, comes into your reality, you know then it's not a reflection of you. That is actually something they have within them. So there's an issue or, or fear that you didn't deal with. So at this time, you're here. You observe neutrally. You have your choice. Okay, can I divinely assist them in any way? Or if not, you turn the other cheek and walk the other way because you don't want to expend energy if you're confronted with that. But mm -hmm. with everything that occurs, there's always something to learn. So you may come into contact with an aggressive one, but whatever they're angry about may be a reoccurring theme that you're seeing in reality. So it gives you information on what is transpiring, what the energy is like as well. And then it gives you more time to tweak yourself up and to apply your own co-creator abilities to uh, remedizing that or eradicating it. So it depends on the individual and it also depends on the circumstance of what is actually going on. So mm -hmm. that is a, well, a broad subject. Some people uh, uh, define what you're talking about as some people get in a trauma loop where the same trauma, which is based on a fear, keeps looping around back yes, and it's an issue absolutely. they have to deal with yeah. themselves. Yeah, they yeah. have to, exactly. They'll be continuously subjugated to it until they master it. And, you know, in the past, it would keep resurfacing because they would try to solve the problem with a fear-based action, and you don't do that. So this is why then you got to go do your homework within yourself and strengthen yourself as well to begin to know how in those situations, how to pass the test that applies the solution and ends it. But I also need to say also it's important that ones need to know upon the planet out of approximately 8 billion population, that only 6 billion of those are actual human souls. This means the other 2 billion are constructs of, um, they are inscribers and influencers of fear. So once one reaches a level to know there's no soul in that angry one, that it is a dark one. Well, you just don't go into fear and you just walk away as well. So it's very important to use your discernment. Are you actually dealing with a human soul that is just in fear or is it something else? And if it's something else, a minion, don't waste your time because yeah. they, can, they are programmed into great fear and they will never see any reasoning or never in the heart so mm -hmm. if you're able to discern if they're a soul or not that makes a huge difference as well mm -hmm. well it, it seems even i mean this is a minor comparatively speaking but sometimes when you do a video or you make a statement online or something like that and and all of a sudden you get you know, attacked in very negative ways. And um, I used to respond and say things back or, you know, try to explain. Uh, and I got to the point where I don't even bother anymore. It, it's just, I just delete it. If you haven't got anything good to say, don't say anything at all. And, and that's a great uh, motto to have as well. But what occurs, see, you, you do have the darkness. It is upon the planet. There oh, yeah. is an actual real evil that's why everything is as it was with the matrix you know all about the control so we don't need to go into that but what ones need to know as i said there are very evil forces not as great as what it once was because they're getting smaller every day but they're still upon the planet and these were the ones that were steering uh the the matrix and uh 
what they call international law, which is man-made law and national laws. It's all artificial man-made laws to support an artificial value system of which they call money as well. And, and <laughs> oh, yeah. it's very threatened right at this time. But what they have is they have AI generated programs of, of minions, if you will, boiler rooms that sometimes <laughs> if on your post, what what you are thinking, it's a person when they're coming attacking, they're it's not a it's just a program that they have. So yeah, don't waste the time on it. And what I do you know, just the other day, I had a, a liken of a Jezebel uh, situation had to come up because I'm a teacher and it was a great opportunity to show what we we're teaching about the spirit, how it controls one. But mm -hmm. in that case, what I did is enough at that time was enough. And I just said, I usually don't block ones because I use them. They're valuable teaching tools minions you know because then you can show the others uh the reason why we need to do this work why we need to change the world when you have someone that disgusting in it so you know in whatever ways that you can utilize them and with any of these minions you can there are times that uh, if you play the conscious game with them they can't compete consciously so what occurs sometimes if you begin that they'll just poof fly away and then you'll have let's say other uh higher knowledgeable ones that will also come in there's different levels with them but also it's that pinpointing you know right away one of the things like what i like to do is i am all the light i'm teaching freely and assisting as many as possible and if someone comes in to attempt to uh, attack my character and my integrity it, they are dark or they are in great fear and some of them i will attempt to assist but just like the other day no not at this great time where we're at in the ascension if someone comes and attacks the light they are not the light we don't attack and you know it becomes very blatant so then it it becomes also blatant they come in with an agenda and what they what one of their tactics what they like doing in the past is to come in twos or threes as well because they create a storyline uh, if they're making comments on your post to try to get others involved to highlight what they are doing and also these will be what you could call the false light you know if you look at their profiles it look like oh yeah they're awake and all what have you but the thing is they just stole the stuff from from others you know to make the guys to make it look like they're the light so you need to use your discernment and what is what and as you said there's times uh I put up the other day, no tolerance policy at this time, because I need to put my focus on what I'm doing with uh, teaching and GPMS. So I don't have time and I will not take time to be distracted by them because mm -hmm. that's another one of their tactics. They'll come in to distract you from yeah. taking things forward divinely so you can ignore yeah. them block them or whatever you wish to do yeah. but uh, conscientious you know these are their tactics this is what they do to try to distract you to take you off course so somebody's asking but are they holograms or incarnate people without a soul connection or npc some people call them a non-person character I wonder if there are ways besides, you know, them right attacking you of identifying them through the lack of compassion, the lack of empathy, um, unless they're presenting that in a fake manner. So there's always that possibility too. So anyway, do you have any answer for this? Uh, I think we already, I believe we already answered that. Kind so of what you're saying yeah. are the hologram or incarnated people without soul connection. No, no, they're not 
incarnated people, really. It's As I mentioned, it's not fully... Any of the darkness here does not incarnate, and these are, if you look at minions, these are darkness, but a lot of what you have is... Uh, Yeah, what you're asking is kind of like a, a little bit mixed up for what I wish to say. But to keep it simple for you, no, the minions do not have souls. They are, if you will, an example of the darkness. And the higher truth, the highest truth is that there is no darkness for us. But these are serving very important uh, learning lessons to be able to get your mastery so they are allowed the highest truth is that they are allowed to be here because you're in a divine boot camp at learning how to come into your power and to overpower them and master them so you rise along with the others so there is uh when you look at holograms or Oh, yeah, you all, I know what you're referring to. You also see that, yes, that some are actual holograms that they can vanish as well because there are those projections, if you will, that the darkness head there. But it also depends on what frequency you are resonating at. Uh, for example, if you see what looks like a, a, a person walking and, and then your vibration raises right at, at that time, and they could vanish as well if they are a hologram, and these things do occur where ones vanish or also appear quickly. If you have a quick vibration drop, it, it depends on where you're at with your vibration and what is occurring at any given time. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. People call. I, I I need to turn my phone off. Yeah, yeah, you turn it off when you're doing these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's great because uh, you know, when I first began uh, speaking live as well with the minions and the trolls, then you'd get these weird calls coming in when you're doing a, a show, if you will, because these are tactics as well to disrupt and Drug, distract. Distract. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Amazing yeah. how that frequently works, just like um, YouTube taking a channel down or, or causing some kind of chaos in your life um, for various reasons. Uh, it's all to distract you from what you're doing. At least I have that experience, and I'm sure you do too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just knowing when to walk away and uh, what you know, and and when you need to stand in your power that is also a situation you know that comes because you cannot give away your consent in your power to something that is not moral so you always uh, make your choices as well and you learn from the choices that you make and again you make your choices always from the most highest from the most moral in the most virtuous and that way you'll excel at passing your tests and and being focused on doing your inner work to empower yourself jay thought is as asking about physical attacks i i it, it's not very specific i i don't know if what she's referring to uh you know i've seen a lot of it on different youtube videos where people have been totally violent i mean attacking like a, a almost a group of people attacking one person and beating on them now i don't know if that's staged or real but I, i've been given the impression that some of it is actually real so we have some people that are acting out in a very violent manner now is that's out of fear well, it can be as well. I mean, you need to look at what, what I am saying is that there was an attempted mass genocide worldwide. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and you know, the side effects of that is, uh, is very fearsome, fearful and fearsome to some. And, yes, they will mm -hmm. act uh, out of different ways. But a lot that you need to be very meticulous, as Gail just said, you know, 
if you're seeing something online, the best thing not to do is to believe it if it's violent, unless you actually know personally one that was there or what have you, because a lot of it is staged. See, there is the fear propaganda that is intentionally put out by the darkness on all the big medias and, and what have you. Uh, to keep ones in states of fear, but also to keep these ones with their consciousness that's watching the tube, if you will, to always generate a fear energy through their feelings out into reality, because that's where what the darkness needs. They need that fear energy. They cannot survive without it. So they propagate and perpetrate all of these fear paradigms uh, to do that to keep humanity enslaved because without the fear when we have the great joy and bliss of gpms everyone is happy there's no darkness that resides here and they cannot so their days are over and we're already beginning to uh, create this now yeah. and it's very logical with the you know, with GPMS, you don't have to believe in God. You don't have to even know about ascension. When you look at it, it's a logical, simple worldwide vote. So all you need to know is that a majority vote wins. But when you just take a moment to look at what GPMS is, it's all of the people worldwide voting for a new world. So it's not an individual country. And by looking at it this way, this is why it's so important to look at it this way. This means where it's worldwide, this is making the worldwide difference. Whereas you had elections just in countries before, it was contained and these people separated from the other countries worldwide so that the darkness could keep a control this universal all worldwide uh, vote is what takes all of the power away from the darkness it's game over with them and uh, this i is just what thought we're i'd bring up the um and share the screen of the website the gp gpms yeah. dot world and this is what it looks like so you're aware of that and yeah. um, could you scroll uh, uh, just a little bit down you can see the consent button there oh there it is right up top where? yeah the pink <laughs> to the oh top. consent here yeah 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 and there yeah so this is where if you agree basically with the, a new world where there's love peace harmony uh, abundance, uh, if you agree with that world for you and your children, you go into that consent and you add your agreement with all of the others. Right now we have just over 66,000 uh, that have added their agreements and this is worldwide. You see, uh, I believe the Philippines is the top, uh, uh, top consenter so far uh thailand next and then india and uh what we are doing very shortly there should be a stage where it goes into virality and we collect the majority votes worldwide and what i need to say is that you know with the the divine feminine or with even the feminine that are in their heart they can see that this is for humanity and also if they are a mom of a few children well when one mom consents she also as a guardian of the children consents for the children so when we're looking at collecting uh the majority vote worldwide and what i need to say the actual majority vote is about three decimal one billion. But what you look at is where you have families, every child's voice counts, that you really actually need less than a billion that are consenting for them and their families, and it's all done. And then we are implementing this full new system. So what the darkness had done 
is they robbed all of the value from every individual and they also robbed a lot of the morality and the way that they robbed the morality was also making people accept uh, the present monetary system if you will and and they they stole the value if you will from uh, the value from every individual so what we're doing with GPMS is we are activating and instilling that value for everyone that recognizes and knows morally that this is the uh, the right thing to do. Okay. So we are gathering all of those. Yeah, and very and this is the divine plan. We have it this way because I am connected straight to Prime Creator. Uh, the father and mother aspect but also i am the guardian that put it upon the planet into print here it's all inclusive and it's concrete because it comes from father and i wrote it out that's why nothing can oppose it nothing can contest it that's moral and uh it, nothing can stop it as well because it is the most moral and righteous thing for everyone to do and it's gaining momentum and uh, don't ask me when it's going to be implemented uh, because I, I don't have an exact time but what I can say every day we get closer because we're collecting more and more of the consents towards the majority and when anyone looks at it look at uh, the comparison page of what you have now and the new what GPMS gives you and it's at that point when you look at it it becomes totally obvious and blatant why the majority uh, have already it's already what they want they just have not consented yet or don't know about it and with this what uh, anyone watching this and anyone that watches this in the future uh, it's very important to know that this is the new world, this is the golden age, this is GPMS, and also it's important to share it with friends and family. And everyone in GPMS, we are all volunteers, we are all equal guardians or, or what have you. There is no hi hierarchy hierarchy within this we are all the same because this is the world we're creating where everyone is equal equal in value and equal in joy and equal in all of the the good things so we're taking it out of this present world you know i just looked at um, doing a little bit of research sometimes i look at some statistics and government numbers and countries uh, because yeah. I, yeah, so to be familiar, one thing I wish to say during the course of the other night, I was looking at Canada and I was looking for the poverty income level of Canada. Mm -hmm. And the reason I was looking at that is because I compare it with Femca and I, because we fund just when we need it for just enough you know to exist off of we are very conservative and modest and when you same here <laughs> what we don't what what we receive in donations we are actually below the u.s income poverty line for two of us below the netherlands but also canada i think we're right at that poverty line and, and I needed to, so during the course with just looking at the newest numbers, so I can honestly tell one, you know, what we're doing is for free. We are not about money or capitalizing off of what we're doing. This is authentic. This is genuine. And uh, one thing I come across was an interesting article. I already knew this, but it was a, uh, in Canada, living in Toronto, I believe, it's a legally blind uh, lady. And she was uh, receiving, I think, 1300 Canadian dollars a, a month from the government because she was disabled, legally blind. 
And her rent, I think, was around eleven $1 hundred dollars uh, a month. And this left her one hundred and forty seven dollars for the month to buy food out of in Canada. Now, and also in that article, uh, she would try to work a bit to get some more money to buy food. Then they take it away. Yeah, but if she went over $200, <laughs> that's what they do, it, they what they would, do here. The government would call back. Like, you know, this is insane. They do the it's same absolute. thing here. They do the exact same thing. Yeah. If you get uh, a work and you try to raise yourself up a little bit, they start stripping it away. And it's not even anything that they actually pay. It's actually coming from your trust account, but people don't even know <laughs> but, all of that. But, it, but the thing <laughs> is, it's the cruelty that is involved. Yes. yes. So, you know, this is, and, and it's absolutely. Absolutely preposterous that it existed this long when mm -hmm. we go back to you know to the lies that was given in uh, 1972 if you will you know everyone would be abundant now with the baby boomers and everyone would have you know all kinds of money and poverty not existing it, it never it never come because it was a false hope given to make one's work harder and then you just keep working harder and harder to sustain the matrix enslavement society but we don't need to go into that because we got gpms is the full escape well, every, right now everybody's waiting on the uh nasara gasara thing and thinking that it's that's not going, going to... to happen no no no, and I need to say that that is, uh, you know, they've been waiting on that for 20 years, thousands or tens of thousands of times. Once have been told dates, it never come to fruition. And you need to look at the spin on it. You know, with uh, the Economics Act, it was, let's say, a proposal, but then the new age come in and began to manipulate it. It, with good intent to try to create it as a reality. But the problem is the reality is still not in alignment with the full value and freedom of the individual. It keeps the old power structure alive where gold or what have you. We had a break in our connection for a minute there, but glad I'm glad it came back on. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, that's what back. happened. <laughs> I guess but, I don't like but, what we're saying. I don't know. <laughs> but, but really and truly, you can hear it here. Uh, Nasara or Jasara, like what they're thinking is not going to happen. The QFS, that is not going to happen the way it is because they still have fear mechanisms ingrained into the instruments of what it is we're going to a place where there is no fear meaning that there is no security there is no external value based on gold or resources outside of the self the absolute truth is we are the value we are and we're activating that unlimited intrinsic value. Money or gold would not exist if we didn't. So this is, puts the value back in us. And when you look at things like gold back currency, who owns the gold, who uh, who operates and who controls well, it? Well, it's the yeah. same what is your enemy, really. So this is the convoluted looping that keeps one's it, it keeps pillaging the one's value from them, if you will, and nothing, nothing ever occurs. So it keeps taking their energy from them with the false expectations. And uh, it, it is a, it's it's what I call false narratives. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, well, would... one of the things I just heard somebody talking about that very thing and they were saying, oh, you should buy gold and silver now. Well, and I'm going and, and, and then the quantum financial system and it is going to come in and you need to buy this, that and the other thing. And I'm going, OK, I know an awful lot of people who don't have the resources right now to be able to buy gold or silver because every dime that they get is required for their living. And uh, so how, how's that going to work? You know, that, that's making a, a, a two-tier system right out the gate. Yeah, right into the back, same thing. So it lacks the morality. It lacks the nobility. 
it it lacks the righteousness of doing the right thing as you say you know it keeps the uh, the problem with the system because of the value external the intrinsic value being robbed it created classes of people where the money was used to control people into misery to generate dense energy sphere energies outward so with this with any kind of a, a qfs that all that is it is the banks the darkness system so that they can have more control over humanity especially with uh you know their attempts with the digital currency to make it work great for them and to control everyone upon the planet like in the uk you're only allowed to have one coffee a week or what have you uh, in denmark you know they're already putting it in uh, you're only allowed to have this much money in your account or something uh you know at at a certain time and that in your account uh the government at any time they have the full right to come in and take out of it whatever they want you know it's really the truth is really ridiculous with it and so many people have been fooled by these false narratives and, and what i need to say gpms is very real it's very material you can see the actual votes it's tangible that's creating it you don't see anything else out there that is like gpms and dot world and has all of the solutions there and kept simple so we don't need to see this is another thing with in in countries with political parties that keep people distracted by fighting against political parties and governments but it's all one of the dark things so why they keep ones distracted and wasting all their time on that nothing new gets created but now it is because we are saying don't fight the old system unite we have all of the solutions right here and we only need to support this new world the majority wanting it because the majority wins then this new free and abundant world of gpms is here for all to enjoy yeah it's also um it's absolutely shameful what's going on in the world right now in terms it of in, in america homelessness and and uh, putting people out and uh, it, it's just, it's, it's unconscious. Look at the selfishness and the greed. Yes. With let's say the, the rent tours, what they're doing as well. You know, I, I, you know, speaking of the rent over there when in the, this woman, I, my rent is more than my income. So if I don't make some, something on my shows or from people making donate donations, I, I can't make it, um, yes. and keep things going. So it's, it's, it's all diabolical if you ask me, but someone was asking here, but some of them are born into physical bodies. Could they be family members as well? Somebody negative, I assume she's talking about. Yeah, the, again, the, the real truth is that in, uh, with, with your family members, yes, it's possible you can also have within that family, uh, they may not even be let's say a soul you have so many things that occurred so much confusion meaning that you could have several siblings but they may not be your real uh siblings your, your blood siblings and one of the reasons they could have been switched at birth in the hospitals if you will oh and my god also, yeah that, yeah yeah it's, well it happens there's it's written like uh with uh up in canada with the indigenous communities a lot of that was done and it was documented as well and uh, there was uh, i think so, a few years ago it began to come out more how uh indigenous children that were born were switched as well and, and there is evidence and documentation of that and so all of these gains occurred but also when you look at I, I need to add in, should I add it in here? No, uh, what I need to say without going into that opening that can of worms is that 
Yes, if you have someone in your family that's violent and physically attack, attacking you, it's one of two things. They're not human or they're controlled, influenced by darkness because of what they're doing. If they're alcohol, drugs, or if they are just in constant fear. But the remedy in any situation is, is to get rid of it. You've got to cut it off. Any toxic relationship cut it off it is it is draining you of your energy and your power and it's also if it becomes too toxic look at it as a divine sign that it's time to leave that but you can't hesitate uh, the longer you prolong staying in that you each day you're becoming more and more disempowered so you have to make the choices to leave you have to muster up the divine courage and the divine trust to do what you feel is right, to go where you feel better and get out of that situation immediately. Mm. That's an interesting perspe perspective, which I understand, which could be very difficult for some well, people. As I mentioned before, upon the planet, out of an 8 billion population, only 6 billion of those are human souls. That means the other 2 billion are many other different things. And we also got to remember with cloning that that is very real and, uh, and we need to look at robotics and, and, and cyborgs, if you will, how they are very humanoid. So you could have a whole variety of different circumstances but to make it easy for everyone you know make the decision <clears throat> if one has a soul or not and only unite with like-minded and keep away from those that are are attacking you okay uh tim powder says it's disgusting what's going on but what can we do Everything is disgusting, and what can we do is we're creating the new world of GPMS, and, and this is all of the solutions are in it. So until we get the majority vote worldwide, the majority consents, then there's still going to be these disgusting degrees because you need to know that if the majority are still supporting that matrix, they are producing all of these vile, disgusting things. They are going along with it. So they're actually supporting it, keeping it alive. So the most wise, wisest and prudent thing to do is get in alignment with GPMS, with the new world where it doesn't exist. And then you keep your focus on creating the new world. That's where your soul wants to go. Your soul wants to be in a love, peaceful, abundant place. It doesn't want to be here always fighting and struggling. So you shift your focus and your attention towards that in whatever way it may be and keep your trust in your faith and keep your attention attuned to creating the new world where none of this exists. It doesn't mean that it has to be GPMS, but at least line, align yourself with a heaven on earth scenario so that you have a lifeline that you can haul yourself out of the matrix. Everyone needs a goal, a direction to get yourself out of here. Without it, you're just wandering around, you're lost, and you just keep regurgitating the same fear experiences and, and you go nowhere so you need this goal and gpms is one of it so you know it, it it's what's being done for all of humanity and it, it's being done now and it's not a false hope it's hope being actualized as the numbers create as i said you can see this is very real it's very tangible and this is what we're doing yeah. with it yeah, Tim says, for sure, Rick, my soul hates it here. <laughs> <laughs> Many, we know we don't belong here. And, you know, yeah. with a lot, we come It just back doesn't fit. Yeah. Yeah. We already won. This is the great news. The light has already won. 
but what we're doing is playing it out in this material role now to take the material world to the winning place as well. So energetically, spiritually, it's already won. The war is won. But now what we're doing is gathering up uh, the physical to put into the good physical to put into the new world, if you will. So we all have our roles to play with that, with guiding and taking everything forward. And everyone plays an important, integral part within it. Somebody's asking, do the souls care if the planet is globe or plane? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a subject I don't even like to go say, there. Does it matter? Too does crazy. It matter? <laughs> I'd say that's the least of the world's problems right now. Exactly. Yeah, focus yeah. On, focus well, people on, like to argue about it, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but then again, you know, know this. The separation, when you look at darkness, they also create beliefs that would cause confusion and separation because what the darkness is afraid of is unity. So if we have everyone with Christ consciousness and morally doing what is right, that's what the darkness is afraid of. So uh, in their past attempts, they'll try to throw in a whole bunch of different beliefs to keep one separated and also with their social medias that's why they were developing like telegram and uh, uh what what have you signal and all this because what they want to do is to separate the energetic forces so the more social medias they made they were successful at separating more yeah, and the real truth is with your social media or anything, it doesn't matter which one you have, if, if it's encrypted or not, because the one that made the encryption keys is the actual enemy themselves, and they can see and know everything <laughs> you're doing. There is no uh, escape from them knowing what you're doing, but also you know you're divinely protected, so it doesn't matter, and you can uh, play with them if you will at times, but sending them messages and, and jokes but the real truth is yeah it's a uh, yeah so beliefs you know separate and in in this great time at least with gpms we are asking for ones do you agree with this new world do you want abundance peace love and joy and if you do keep your if you believe in buddha if you believe in god none of this matters you know you can have your own beliefs but do you agree with we got to do something for the world and do you agree with what gpms is doing so we're bringing everyone together with that one common goal that everyone wants abundance and freedom and peace and those are the highest uh what is it peace is the highest vibrational um level and we're down at like Peace is uh, 600, for example, and fear is 100. So there's a big gap there for the fears that we hold and why it's so important to master those fears. And right after peace, we have enlightenment, which is you know, 700. But all the different um, levels in between are ones that I assume we need to master to in order to get to the level we want to get to. And having the ability to go to a place that is setting up basically equality for all, no hierarchy, and um, meeting everyone's basic needs, which don't happen in this system. In well, matrix. I need to say beyond basic needs, it's in the comfort range, which is beyond that. And it's in the comfort range, meaning everyone all of us have everything and access to it. So you're not just wondering uh, if you're going to have enough food for this month by having a basic income and all of the other ridiculous things intact, uh, like the old financial system and investment. None of that is in the new world. So you have your full sense of security beyond anything ever in the past this is your freedom this is your upliftment into the new reality 
and it's everything that you want it to be and all of those like-minded as well what we want here and 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 everyone has a responsibility for your children as well to assure that they they vote and agree with this as well because we're collecting all that wants the new world and that's what we're doing and we kept it simple mm -hmm. if you believe the earth is flat or if you believe it round that doesn't matter we're not coming together about that we're not coming together about the beliefs the only beliefs we're coming together is to do what is morally right and the common denominator that lifts all boats so we can agree to come together to do that not only for ourselves for everyone else that wants it it's the only way to do it i looked at uh, the u.s uh the i know the government numbers are are not correct but it says almost one million are homeless in the u.s at least i know the numbers are more than that uh in canada the numbers is around uh, 250 300,000 but it, it's it it could be more than that as well when you look at that in two of these western world societies like that's not acceptable no it's either. not not at all and, and thing that was very sad and sick in canada when i was looking at those numbers the other day then they put in there that it's costing the canadian taxpayers seven decimal two billion dollars a year by these ones being homeless so making it look like it's their fault oh, yeah they do that, that all the time and a cost to society how like you know how you they created it in the first place so people wouldn't be in that position and yet they turn exactly. around and blame it on the people They've been doing that yes, for a long exactly. time. It's the system that caused it. So, yeah. but we don't care what the system done. We got the full solution, and we have the new system that all of humanity will love, and, and that's what we're creating because we all create it together, and it's very simple to do. Yeah, and that's a wonderful thing. Yeah, yeah that's so true too, uh, Tim. Sadly, the suffering of so many is all by design. They yeah. they get off yeah, on that. Indeed. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'd like to say too, you, you see ones with, with good intentions and out of their fear, maybe saying, uh, we got to get some crypto, we got to get a wallet, we got to get a blockchain, uh, something, you know, onto that. But really, they are not thinking as well. They're not thinking because the real problem that causes all of this is the ones that own and control the internet and the financial routing system, meaning that they can get wallets or what have you, but if they have no internet, it's what's no going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and that yeah, they say so that's you know, forthcoming that's too. Yeah. yeah. And, and as you are saying with gold and silver, like who is going to carry uh, gold? It doesn't make, it's nonsensical. So you don't go into these old things. They are dark tactics and, and traps. And, and the real thing, what GPMS does is once we have the majority voice, we take the lawful and rightful ownership of the internet and the financial routing system to distribute funds. But we also take ownership of the physical printing presses in every country. So if the people want some physical money, they can have that as well as their digital money. But remember, we're in control, the people of the digital money. And the digital money just keeps pushing out as, as a full free flow system. But we need to keep a small condition on it that you just can't give everyone uh two billion dollars instantly it would shut down the world so there is the order where it's released incrementally but at a comfortable level and where each one is given of each family a vehicle and a free home because we own all of this you're given free 
energy, free electric, because we own it. <clears throat> Won't that take some implementing by people? I mean, how will that be implemented, I guess, is a big question people might have. What, as what aspect? What do you mean? How, what would be? All, all these, okay. Say, so the internet as it is right now, as an example. Okay. If we wanted to shut down and close all the back doors and all the um, uh, misinformation and the controlled information and all that kind of stuff, we would have, you're saying we would have the capacity to gain control of it or make our own? No, no, we take, we already own all of the internet. It, it would not be created if it was not for us. We're taking the rightful ownership. Because oh, we're the creators, it. right? Uh, originally. Yeah, we and, were enslaved to build it. But the right true now. fact is that we are the bona fide shareholders and owners from it. Because the day that a child is born, they're registered into a government's economy, which is registered into the global economy. So this makes every individual, no matter where you're at, you're in ownership of all of the public inter infrastructure worldwide. You are a shareholder. So GPMS is just collecting the disgruntled shareholders of the matrix and we are taking the rightful and lawful ownership once we have the majority. So it's a shareholder vote upon the planet. Once we have the majority, we take control of the financial routing system in the Internet to do what is morally right, to put everyone in a place of comfort and eradicate poverty instantly and misery. And this is why... GPMS is, it's incontestable. Nothing can oppose it nor go against it. For the moment that a government, if you will, tried to, it would show instantly that the government is even more savage. And what this helps, it then more people come on board. So it would actually help Boost us it. because everything that the darkness tries to do, it has the adverse effect on them and awakens more. Mm -hmm. So, but. Uh, so do you think um, the structure may move to a form of councils or, or, or how? Yes, yes, yeah. What I wish to say upon this planet, you know, one 12 year old child with morality in their heart, knowing what's right or wrong, can run the entire planet with the internet in the financial routing system. That's how easy it is to distribute funds because you, you're doing everything from a good intent. Now, getting back with your internet, what where the darkness owns and controls the internet currently, they also own and control all the minions that's on there that's causing a, in the past a lot of the problems. So yeah. once humanity takes ownership of the internet, poof, all of that darkness goes as well. So uh, what we have with the new world is committees, uh, a committee, an oversight committee, committee of guardians that are there just to overview the entire planet to assure that the administration of funds is going out worldwide to assure that everyone has access to the funds, that the systems are operating to distribute the funds worldwide simultaneously to all of the individuals and the essential goods and service services, the providers of those as well with unlimited funds to keep um, the logistics moving upon the planet with the ag agriculture, the good foods to keep all of that going. As I mentioned, you cannot just give everyone a bunch of money that would shut down people needs food, you know, to to live off of. So what we do, and then each country, it's already developing, like in the US, organically, you're having humanitarians that are becoming part of GPMS, that they have all of the different skill sets, how to very quickly 
uh, distribute funds and resources to ones. There is no longer any accounting in GPMS. Nothing needs to be accounted for. It's all free flow money. There don't need to be extensive there is no policy with regulation. Uh, there is no red tape. There is no accounting with GPMS. So you don't have any paperwork because your focus is moral and genuine at you have the money, you have the resources, and just put them where they need to go. And that is the most common sense thing. So organically, what we have is already created, is being created. And I take Thailand, Philippines, and India right at this time. Within those numbers that have consented are, the, are some of the actual administration panels for that area to, you know, they, they know the country, they know the people, they know what is needed. So these are, if you will, the committees are already being formed. And hmm. within GPMS, all of the human souls that are going to be part of GPMS and already they come from all skill sets, walks of life. So what you have, and when I do this, this is the majority vote being collected. You have the biggest think tank ever upon the planet that's equipped with all of the solutions, all of the knowledge, all of the know-how, all of the skill sets to implement GPMS because it's so simple to implement it because you have the entire skill set of the souls upon the planet to advance society and civilization instantly into it. By taking money out of the equation as being a hindering factor, then everyone is free to do and to put the money and resources where it needs to go. There is no obstacles. See, the, the current system made money as a restrictive factor. What GPMS does, there is no limit. It's no longer restricted. It's infinite. It's unlimited. It's instantaneous. And it's in the now. And what currently happens once humanity gets reset into GPMS, it, it, I'd say it's less than a year after that, they come to know that they don't need money at all. But we need to do the step with GPMS where we flip the tables because we need to get rid of the evil, the darkness. And this is what it does when the people have a choice with the dark system or the light GPMS system, they're going to choose the light system, then the darkness can no longer exist. There, there, there is no white color crime. There is no accounting in this new system, meaning you don't need lawyers, you don't need um, a lot of regulation and all of that. It's not required because the focus is on everyone working together and sharing and helping, sharing an abundance. This is the thing. There's nothing to fight for when everyone is in abundance. And this is what establishes the peace there is nothing to steal for yeah. when everyone has everything. And this is why it begins to eliminate the crime. When you look at drug addictions, the reason many of these are, have drug addictions, it, it's a symptom of the old system yep. that caused it, that exactly. caused depression. In this new open world, someone instead of taking drugs, if they're homeless, taking drugs, you know, because there was it's a coping now, it's the, no yeah. resort. Yeah. Now there is the new resort, and and they will choose that new resort of being free. Throw the drugs behind, you know. I can see the whole world free now. There's so many things I've always wanted to do, but I couldn't do it. So the little bit of money I had to keep me alive was by taking some drugs. But that's all over. They have this choice now as well. Someone was and asking, yeah, someone was asking these guardians, are they normal people with normal lives whose presence alone is work being done? Uh, 
Do I understand the question correctly? Uh, what we what we are, I'm a guardian, for example. My life is not normal. Everything I do for <laughs> GPM yeah. is, is volunteer, like all of the guardians. Mm -hmm. So all of the guardians are all moral volunteers to do what's right. There is, we don't get paid anything, any of this. It's not about it. And we did not want to contaminate the GPMS with any commerce or business organization, none of that. And we don't need it. And we're not going to contaminate it with it. So we're all volunteers, everyone uh, uh, that contributes. It, it, we're all volunteers in it. Yeah. It's like, and I volunteer my time on this show to put information like this out there. Um, so... I, I hope everyone looks up gpms.world and uh, gives their consent. I know I, I when I first, the first time we did a show and I said some to somebody about giving their consent, they're like, well, I don't want to get my, what do you mean give my consent? You know, okay. um, and, and that, that was because before they even took the time to look at the site to see what it mm -hmm. says. Yeah, yeah. So, we, you know, we, we, we could have at times put, your agreement or your accord but the consent was there for whatever reasons and we kept that but yeah also having said this you know with any in the matrix for any contract law uh to be legal in their system there has to be an opt-out clause meaning that either party can rescind and break that contract at any given time. That is the actual lawful contract. And what you will find, it, it is not, you don't even see that very, you see that very little. I mean, let's take a mortgage. You cannot walk out of a mortgage right away because they have you bound and, and trapped within all of their laws that you've agreed to and that those are the artificial laws to enslave you to that mortgage and a lot will. of times those agreements were not fully disclosed and and the Which small meant. print if you will yeah so with but you can't even read without a magnifying glass <laughs> yeah so with gpms if anyone comes into great fear and, and it, it doesn't really happen very, very often at all. I think seven or eight, maybe since we went, since we've been going with it. But what occurs out of these seven or eight, they are most likely minions as well that gets ejected out of it. Or if one, let's say, has a great fear they haven't dealt with yet, at least they were in there and they might have got ejected out where they rescinded their agreement, but it doesn't mean they won't come back after they overcome whatever fear they have. So, so with that, anyone that doesn't agree with GPMS, but again, you can see it's insane once you look at GPMS for anyone that doesn't agree with it. And when you see one that says, they want to get out of GPMS more than likely. It's a minion trying to uh, yeah. get ones, you know, to come out of it. There's something infiltrate, wrong with yeah. That's what they do, but there isn't. But yeah. with that, there is. You can just send an email and rescind your agreement at any time. Mm -hmm. So we're all equal men members in it. Um, let me say. One of my, my roles in it is being a guardian and also, you know, suggest, suggesting and guiding ones, you know, with this. But what we do is we, we need to keep the GPMS integrity intact of what it is. But we do consult with think tanks uh, in our contributors group with what we get a collective agreement, like, like a consensus to what we should do like going forward for example uh, we had to get a consensus the other day on the definition of a proxy guardian like if you have a elderly aunt let's say she's got dementia or alzheimer's and but you are her guardian so mm -hmm. you 
with GPMS, yes, can consent for her because you are her caregiver, her immediate one. And what you're doing is you're acting in her best interest because you are, that's part of being a guardian for someone to take care and act in their best interest. Mm -hmm. So you can, in that situation, you know, if you have an aunt, then you're her guardian. Yes, you can consent for her, but you also need to tell her verbally or if she's able to understand a bit, she gives her verbal and says, yeah, you know, Gail, go and do it for me. I agree with it. What have you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, is there anything else that we haven't covered that you would like to bring up? Uh, I think we covered uh, quite a bit. I do have one thing. I, I, I will share this here. I haven't shared it uh, publicly in a written post on Facebook nor Telegram yet. Although I did share it, we had a Canada GPMS team meeting and we had a contributors uh, team GPMS team meeting and I think also a USA one uh, the other day. And, and uh, we have our, we are mostly on Telegram and Facebook. But having said this, what I shared was a galactic transmission that I received several days ago that I need to put out public. And essentially it goes like this. And this message is directed towards the moral military and police enforcement worldwide and it's for these ones within the military and police the lower rank ones because there's a lot of uh, nefarious ones in the upper exactly. ranks yep. we don't care about what what they do it's uh, this divine galactic message is given to these souls that they are souls they are in the military and the police and what they are given, the message is to begin to stockpile enough provisions, whatever it may be, for them and their families for a two month upcoming period. And what this, to go a little bit deeper, what it means is that these military and these police worldwide may need at any given point to vacate their job as being military because their heart, their, what may occur, they cannot be a part of it, especially if it begins to go against the people. And if you look in Canada, the US, uh, and other countries around the world, there is the huge civil unrest, meaning that it is quite possible in the next few months for civil wars to begin to break out. And one of the reasons why that is possible, the dis dissenting, num dissenting numbers in every country is, is risen, is rising very quickly, and it cannot be contained. What we're attempting to do in every country is tell them not fight, unite, we got the solution here. But the thing is, they're still in that place of huge aggression at discovering more of the truth that even though they're still in a lot of fear they, they cannot even see gpms but we are having some that are trickling out of it but nevertheless that was the simple message uh, for any military and police worldwide that has a soul that is moral it's a great idea right now to begin to stockpile provisions for you for I believe you have about a month from now to begin with your paycheck to stockpile enough for at least two months afterwards. Uh, because what's going to occur is that you may need to leave your military employment. And what will occur, you will not receive any money from them as well. So to put you not in such a delicate place, you are given uh, this transmission to be knowledgeable so that you can do what is responsible for yourself and your family to be prepared.
I thought of one last thing. You had mentioned yeah. um, the Schumann resonance and its effect on people and what's happening. Well, the Schumann resonance, if you will, is a gauge on what happens. So what happens, you have to backtrack what is uh, occurring with the Schumann, what is it registering? So it's registering in the least the changes in, in the body of Gaia and in the core. And with this, so then you need to look at what's changing the electromagnetic field of the planet and what's changing the core, if you will. Well, what's affecting, influencing, and changing that is part of the work that Femka and I does because of our connections to mother and father of creator. And what we're, what is actually occurring is the planet, because of the distorted fear energy by the nefarious darkness, was it was uh, it was distorted, not correct. So what is occurring incrementally by setting the cosmic clock, we are correcting uh, the bio natural field of Gaia herself. And by doing this, it is changing. And also, if you get a quick shift, you're going to get a blackout on the Schumann because it cannot register it because we're also dealing uh, with time where we are not constant in time as well so when we do a divine application uh there is the time for it to manifest into reality and also it has to be allotted to a time slot in reality so these effects when you see the human being affected it's not only us it's everyone in their heart in your higher vibration as you all know it takes all of us is also adding to these amplified effects does that answer it enough um this was one last comment here a corporate police exists to protect the evil matrix and persecute the innocent and concerned uh may many say stockpile enough food and water for about two months whoever they are yeah, I've heard, you know, not just the military, but but um, also other people because jobs will be lost. Thing, things are happening that that um, may slow down the transportation yeah, and production of goods. But Tim, how, how this differs, this is a direct message to the good military and the good police, meaning that there is a bad military, bad police component. So when you see this separating at this time where the good can no longer stand with whatever actions and orders are be given to a military or a police, when you see this separation occurs, this is unprecedented as well. So these good souls are being set up for something very good to be separated from that and to not support that fear but at the same time when you look at it let's say if you have a military in the u.s i don't know how many millions was there but let's say if that suddenly cut to half what you lose is the darks enforcement <clears throat> of that military but then at the same time you also see the good military come into conflict with the remnants of the darkness. So you can say it's looking like a great showtime uh, is, mm -hmm. is coming now, a showdown, because again, the darkness cannot go forward and it's divinely insured. So ours, the souls are being separated out of any of that support enforcement as well. So they may, yeah, they may not, uh, they may not take heed in the moment, but as things progress in the next month, uh, by hearing and knowing this, it'll make more sense to these lower rank military and police. But they've already been doing it over the last 10 years and, and progressing more and more. If you take Canada uh, as an example, their main, is, uh, their main police force is the RCMP, you had many that was taking stress leave because they needed their money for their families, right? Mm -hmm. And if uh, 
they can't just walk away. So a lot of them were taking stress leave. So they got money coming in to provide temporarily. But what I'm saying, we're getting to that crunch now where the decisions have to be made. And it's a good divine notion that this message comes out for those to be prepared. Because in the military, in the police force, those that believe in God are souls and they will know what that means. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Rick, for all that valuable information. And I hope everyone out there is, is um, um, enjoying this information and will go to gpms.world. And um, if you just look at it, I don't see how you can't give your consent. You know, it, it's just. Uh, yeah. Look at yeah. what you're voting for the comparison old versus new page. And then that makes it a lot easier for you what you're voting for. And exactly. you're voting for the good moral uh, guardians and, and the good people like yourself, you know, for example, as we go forward, who is going to be administrators? Gail, you could be one of them. It's, <laughs> it's whoever, you know, steps up. But once we have it all made, <clears throat> that it's free and open for everyone, then everyone can step up, say, yeah, I want to help and what a beautiful thing. And I, I tell you what, Rick, um, we'll uh, come back in, in a while, in a few weeks, and um, do a status check and see where we're at and see how much it's grown. And we can try to put this out to as many places as possible. So. Yeah, I, I would love that, Gail. <clears throat> right at this time, the Philippines with GPMS is ready to go into, they have the amount of numbers that they're ready to go into a paradigm shift in wow. the philippines country itself That's so awesome. in a couple of weeks uh, also i believe in a couple of weeks many good things are going to occur that we can share on gpms just out of curiosity is is japan up there too yeah japan is part of gpms as well there's uh i believe in japan we have maybe 40, 45 have agreed from there as well. Oh, that's all. okay. I yeah. thought it might Japan be more than that place. for some reason. Yeah. But, um, yeah. okay. Well, thank you for um, the insight and thank you for the work that you're doing to raise the um, vibration of the planet by <laughs> making it what it should be, what God intended it be, to be from the beginning that yeah. got hijacked and humanity got hoodwinked and we're taking it back. So exactly. exactly <laughs> yeah. And we already won. That's the beautiful thing of it. So we have God the can't lose. Land, gold <laughs> yeah. Direction. Yeah. yeah. All right. Love light and so much gratitude, Gail. And yeah, it'd be great in a couple of weeks to come back. So thank okay. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Remember, this is listening support, and if you're able to help, please do. Thank you, everyone. See you again soon. a brand new day and we'll be making history are you with me won't you stay we have come so far this is who we are and like the rising sun we have just begun to play our part this is the time we form the chorus Lift your voice for those before us We can rely on one another Feel the pride, let's show our colors We are heroes and dreamers We are restless believers Stronger than ever, never say never
Can rely on one. 